Today I'm using the occasion to talk about the, uh, the vintage Dunlop brake cylinders and uh, I personally had a total brake, brake failure and that was caused to water into the system. So I went through the whole process and uh, discovered what the, what the failure was. I nearly, I nearly destroyed my car, an IC type, and um, fortunately I did not make an accident. So, but uh, from that day on, I, I convinced myself that I need to, to solve the brake issue before I had the same experience again. And um, what the problems are and how to solve them, I will explain in this video. So let's see what happened and why it happened that I'm so careful with the brakes and so concerned about them. You see, this is the um, a used one, and in here you see here you see all the dirt, and that is also pitting and corrosion. That is what you see in here. And now you imagine your car sitting there for years, and um, they get corrosion and pitting in here, and um, as new the pads are, the further in is is the seal. Obviously, this is this is the way it is mounted, and this is the seal, keeping the uh, the brake fluid inside and all the dirt and stuff outside. There's this gator protecting everything, sitting over this ring here, and um, but uh, so you have the pads here the thick pads then this one is deep in so there's a lot of chance get humidity water and dirt in here and just sitting here on the lower part usually and uh, start to to corrode and start get pitting here when you get then the pads consumed and the piston is coming further out in the cylinder then sooner or later this seal is sitting over the pitted area what you see here and uh, every time you move it out you draw some water humidity inside the system and that is where the system fools you so you have pitting first outside this is the idea was with this with this rubber it should be sealed and protected but sometimes these come off or have a, have a tear or whatever and then you get all the humidity in there so with the pitting in here and um, drawing the water in you will you will get more and more water into your brake fluid and then eventually when you drive and you brake this one is coming out and it it will get stuck on this surface, which you see is very rough, so you see it will it will not go back over the pitting and corroded area. It will just sit there and not going back in, and the pad will be grinding on the brake rotor all the time. It will be heating up, and I found that on my rear brake, and I only found that with having uh, cold water sprayed to the calipers to the rotors. And then I found on one rotor on the rear, the, um, the water was evaporating in, in, in a microsecond. So I knew it was the rear which fooled me. So I had to take the, um, the RS apart and get the brake changed. The, um, the solution for this is um, yeah, it's simple. And um, I found a company who's doing, you see this? This excellent shiny bit here. This is a stainless steel sleeve. So they have a face here to get the, um, it's very nice to get that rubber over there when you insert that. So it's very easy. It is, it is guiding the rubber in here. And you see this, this sleeve is a very thin, you see that here, is, is maybe half a millimeter or less than, less than a millimeter maybe, but you see that here. And this one is stainless steel. So what they do, they grind out, they grind out just a little bit of the surface that it, it removes all the pitting and then they shrink in a stainless steel liner in here or sleeve as you wish. And you see how nice that is. And this one will never start to corrode. It might get some dirt in here, but the, then you would push that back out again 
with the with the rubber, but you wouldn't get any holes or pittings in this stainless steel. So and then I can install this system everywhere, and that that functions for the rest of your life. This one, when you have these, you have to check. They're always sitting, they're orientated like this, and it's always the lower part where you have the corrosion in. And that tells you that you have had water into the system, and it just stayed there and it started to corrode. Usually it's always one side, and there's a the bottom side, never on top. And you will see that on other calipers or other um, brake cylinders, and then you will confirm. So do yourself a favor, make sure you check your... Um, your brake cylinders, and please be aware of it. That's the most important thing. The message is be aware that your brake cylinders might corrode on the inside, dragging water in, and things become worse. And I had that. And I, I don't wish anybody to go through the same thing, but I was reading on the internet that it happened many, many times. It happened to, towards Mercedes in the, in the 60s, and uh, they had the same problem. And so just be aware of it. Make sure. Don't go crazy. You don't realize it when you're only braking once in a while. But when you go on a long descent or uh, in a city where you always need to brake and it doesn't come off, then you only realize. If you just brake once in the corner on the, on, the, on the urban roads, you know, you just slow down for a minute and then the wind is cooling again, so that's all good. But if you only go down in the descent... You, or as I had in the hilly parts, then you always have a lot of braking and it doesn't cool down. In my case, I could, put, I could press the pedal down to the floor and the other thing was the, there's a spring, you know, pushing back the pedal. And that, that was there for a reason and, um, and that one was broken as well. And uh, so I couldn't even, you know, do several several steps on the brake pedal as it was flat on the ground and in the end i got away and i was wondering what to do and uh, after half an hour of shock i restarted the engine and i had brake pressure again so system was cooling down again and uh, everything was nice i also looked into the uh, master brake cylinders and this is you see that here is the same you have here some staining and pitting here and this is where the water comes in they look nice from the outside and this is an early one from an e-type these are very rare and they have the body number on here not the complete assembly number it is just the body number what you need to look out for and you have this triangle which you find this triangle you find back here on the um, cylinders and this, this is still the early stuff. And um, so this is the early one. And the later one is the same dimension. And um, is this one. You see. But has different markings. This has a Dunlop on top. And then this one has a Dunlop on the side in small letters. And uh, so. This is repaired. And you see. There's a rear, and they're different. You know, the E-Type has two cylinders, one above the other on the early cars, and the rear is different to the front master cylinder. And then you also have the clutch, which looks similar when you don't have them next to each other, but when you're next to each other, you see that the clutch is um, vertical so still up but the mounting is in a vertical line whereas the brake is in a horizontal line so this is the same thing this is still operating nice i don't know if this is tight or if i get water in here so this is all to be evaluated before clutch might not be that dangerous than the brakes but make sure you have them all and you see I get them all redone and then when you install them these have um, these have yeah stainless steel sleeve in here and don't forget these are rear and front so here you see this very thin line here 
there you see this is a stainless steel sleeve so there will never be any corrosion in here so make sure you get your um, your brake sorted and I know there are aftermarkets on the available or different types but in Germany the aftermarket ones they need to be approved by the TÜV so it's not that easy to just buy um, a third producer brand and install them they need to have the certification for the TÜV and then at that time you can also say okay I get my originals and they are so nice I get my originals re-sleeved I keep the original optic and um, I still have very good brakes on the car it is always that things become old and don't operate as they're supposed to be any questions write me and uh, I hope this helped you a bit and uh, make sure your brakes are safe